Moin Moin. I can't believe it myself, but it's actually happening. The sound of victory. We are taking off right after where we ended last time. The stupid trains are still crashing, power outages, bug attacks, and I still had no concept about how to get research properly going. However, I wanted to get the Purple Science Packs production going now and after some fiddling around I finally had everything set up. Also thanks to the little logistic robots. Nothing was optimized and far from perfect. But as someone famous once said, perfect is the enemy of good. I'm, I'm sure that's some famous quote. So production science packs were arriving at the labs and we finally making some progress. Finally. Unfortunately, I had forgotten about the oil shortage and I was forced to venture further to get more oil rigs up and running. After a quick run, I connected everything to my main oil field, learned nothing from my past mistakes and left those oil pumps without any defenses whatsoever. Oh, forgot to connect those to power. After that I got back to my main base where the locals continued to annoy me. So the plan was to do something about it next. And again in true professional content creator fashion I forgot to record my progress over the past few days. Cause he's completely incapable. But I can assure you I was working effortlessly. The eagle eyed among you probably spotted that I was even researching the rocket silo already. I also built this beauty of a belt line to combat the chronic iron deficit. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be screaming at your screens right now seeing this masterpiece. Out of total excitement of course. True eye candy, I would say. Let's build another one of these. Oh, and finally having learned from my mindless construction of outposts in the past, I walled in all of my territory as well. It was basically just a waiting game from now on I thought, topped with some defending against bugs. I wasn't done messing with my self-esteem however and so I tried my hands on train signals again, since they were crashing over and over again. And after uncoupling the two sweethearts again, I spent a good half an hour or so just figuring out how to place the signals. But giving up in total despair ultimately. Drawing inspiration from my mile long belt masterwork, I drew the longest oil pipeline to have flamethrowers do what they can do best. Raw oil was still scarce though, well at least I had a bunch of solid fuel. But these were minor inconveniences on my way to leave this forsaken planet and finally win the game. I'd expect some big attacks which would come in eventually with building a giant environment polluting space rocket. So I bolstered my defenses even more. Science pack production continued to be slow and sluggish because of insufficient production in virtually every aspect of my factory. Also I had some big boys knocking on my door now, so perhaps the action I so desperately was waiting for was coming sooner rather than later. But now I was getting closer and closer to unlock the silo, but I still didn't even know what I would need to ultimately launch the rocket. Would it be another 15 hours of grind and pain? In any case, my plan was to stop research after having the silo unlocked and focus all my resources on building the rocket. So the other fun stuff like Spidertron and artillery had to wait for another playthrough. I already started disassembling some production lines for the earlier science packs. I had more than enough to finish research. And finally, after the rocket silo was available, I only got to research the laser turrets to have some defenses independent of ammunition. Admittedly, the factory looked pretty empty like this. Barren even. Anyways, I cleared everything I had built for the science packs and switched to concrete production. I was a bit frightened that I wouldn't have enough stone. The next stone deposit was miles away and meant another dangerous venture into bug territory for me. But luckily it seemed as it would be enough. So everything I was doing now was manually getting bricks to the concrete assembly line in addition to the logistic robots to speed up the process. I could already hear the impending screams of comments from the 30k plus hour players. 
To my surprise, just like the Patchwork Factory as a whole, the defenses seemed to hold off well too. But then it was finally time to construct the rocket silo. The final puzzle piece. I rebuilt some of the old factory parts to make more green and red chips to get more blue chips. Because I hadn't realized I needed those for the rocket control unit. Another ingredient for these units was speed modules, which I was already producing luckily. I put down the layout for the rocket control unit production line and fiddled around with my spaghetti belt system for a while. In the meantime, fuel ran out for one of the trains again. Now the bugs were actually getting pretty aggressive again and the old minigun turrets with the level 1 ammunition didn't stood a chance, which required me to manually repair my walls over and over again. Also they demolished my second oil field. Get those little bastards! I destroyed their nest close by in retaliation, rebuilt the field and set up my first laser turrets, hoping that'd be enough until I got off the planet in my rocket. And between the spaghetti dance with different color chips and power issues, I finally started finalizing the rocket control unit production line. So I already had the capacity to make low density structures, and now the control units. What was missing was rocket fuel. Naturally, I used up all that fuel I had for my tank, trains and steam engines before. Who could have guessed that you'd need rocket fuel to send a giant rocket into space? So back to the drawing board. The good thing about rocket fuel is I can make it from any kind of solid fuel, heavy or light oil, doesn't matter. Of course I'm gonna make piped spaghetti as well. I call it consistency. Now some chemical plants here and oh wow these are super slow in production. Um, I should have unlocked assembly machines level 3. But in between I put down some more laser turrets up here and bumped up rocket fuel production. Also, I wanted to protect my main station. I was kinda scared that crawlers could reach that and kill off my entire coal delivery. The same with rocket fuel production. I walled everything in and essentially married the main base with my oil production. I think defenses were pretty decent now. And now, since rocket fuel was dropping in slowly, I started research of Automation 3 after all. I wasn't sure if I'm even gonna use that. This makes no sense. You make no sense! Oh yeah, and in an genius notion I had way earlier, I built a bunch of walls here to keep the bugs from even reaching the base, which to my big surprise seemed to work very well. They were nagging along on concrete while I'll kept polluting their planet. Some ridiculous spaghetti belting later, I quickly checked on one of my outposts, which, to my delight, had nothing but dead bugs outside of it. First and foremost, I am a true friend of nature. And with that, we were getting closer to sweet, sweet victory. If the vacuum of space had any smell at all, I could sense it right now. And there it is, the sound of victory. Oh, and there it goes, without me for some reason. I thought I'm gonna leave the planet. Well, I am probably just as surprised as you are that I actually managed to finish Factorio with this patchwork of a factory. But it is proven. Chaos prevails. Until next time.